We saw yesterday that the principal thing is to get wisdom. Number one, priority, the beginning. What should we get? Get wisdom, get understanding. But the question is, where do you get wisdom? Well, James tells us. James chapter 1, verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. You see, God is the source of wisdom. And prayer is how we communicate with God. And so James is telling us, he says, look, God is a giver of good gifts. He gives wisdom liberally. If you will go to God and you will ask him, he will give you wisdom. And he doesn't upbraid. In other words, he doesn't rebuke you or get on to you. When you come to God and you're honest with him and you are lacking in wisdom, and you say, Lord, I, I'm lacking in wisdom. I, I don't know how to handle this situation. I don't know what the wise path is here. Please help me. The Bible tells us that he generously gives wisdom in that situation. But James goes on to tell us a few more things. He says in verse 6, But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. What does it mean to waver? Well, it means to waver between doubt and belief, between thinking that God is able to give wisdom and that God really maybe doesn't give wisdom. There are a lot of people <clears throat> who really struggle with prayer. And they struggle saying, God's up there, out there, and he's really busy. And I don't think he has time to listen to my prayer. Or they might say, maybe God doesn't know the right thing in this situation. Well, <laughs> I promise you, God always knows the right thing. He always has the answer. The answer is always to be found with God. But what we've got to do is believe that God gives wisdom. How do I know that God gives wisdom? Because his word tells me that he does. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10, 17. And so we got to go to God in faith. He says, let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. The double-minded man is the man who wavers between doubt and belief, between doubt and belief. He's unstable. He's going one way one day, the next day he's going another way. He's like a wave out there just tossed by the wind at the mercy of the wind and the currents of the, of the water that's just going wherever. No, what we've got to do is we've got to be steady and established in our understanding that when I don't know the answers, God does. And that God will give wisdom if I ask him in faith, if I go to him in prayer and ask God for the wisdom that I need. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Where do I go to get it? Go to God. Have a great day.